to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, 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 Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get started. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, we got three cards here. We've got Aries. The 11th house, which is um, the house that Aquarius governs. And then we have Mars, action. Before I came on, I got like, I was meditating for Aquarius Collective. And what I saw was like, um, so deep water. It was like deep water, almost like ocean. But deep water, on the surface of the water, there were like boats, you know, different, like yachts almost. Um, large boats and there were people partying having a good time on the boats but in the water under the water not too far under the water but under the water was like a feminine energy almost like a mermaid if you will and she had a lot of power she was like moving the water backwards and forward I don't know this could be indicative of the fact that Aquarius maybe you've been in your feminine energy for a while and now it's time to kind of activate and get into your masculine energy because you got a lot of masculine energy out here. Well, you've got all masculine energy. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the sun card. So it's time for you. When we talk about masculine energy, we talk about institution. We talk about uh, fruition. We talk about um, making things real, you know, making the plan actually happen, bringing into uh, the 3D. So maybe you've got all these great ideas. You've been going over it and over and over it. Um, but now it's time to push. It's time to activate for some of you. It's time to have radical change in your trajectory, in your future. Start up. You need to start something here. Mars, action, activate, action. You know, take, take action. It's about drive. It's about impulse. It's about courage, force. You know, you need to push forward now. You've gotten the downloads from the universe. You know what you need to be doing. You've been in that high priestess energy for a while. You might need to get go into like emperor energy, which is Aries. Start to be the expert in a field, be the go-to person, get the recognition, have some radical change in some group dynamic in your community with humanity. It's like you have something to give the world. You need to rest in your being or you need to let something be, you know, like let it come into fruition. The sun card is masculinity, it's ego, you know, it's, it's father. 
you've learned some lesson, it's time to definitely bring it bring it home now. Let's see what this is about. I don't know. This could be about anything. It could be about love. It could be about career. It could be about finances. Let's see. What do we have for the Aquarius? What are they needing to activate? Some of you need self-starter. It's like you're waiting for something else, waiting for somebody else to, you know, push you, propel you. Or maybe you're putting all the onus on spirit. I'm waiting for spirit to come off the throne and come knock on my door and pull me out of bed and tell me. It's like, no, self-starter. If you just take the first step, we'll take the initial five steps. It's something that you need to do that it's fiery, fierce, exhilarating. You know, you got to put a lot of force behind this. Um, you need to, Aries is a cardinal sign, so it's about initiation. So you definitely need to do it. You need to initiate something. You need to start it, right? What is this about? Wow, judgment and the queen of wands. So it's about um, hearing the call, listening to the call, answering the call. So the universe definitely, with the judgment reducing to a two, high priestess energy too, the universe has been like whispering to you, Aquarius, that you need to maybe queen of wands, do your own thing. Talks about entrepreneurship, putting yourself out there, charisma, charismatic. It also talks about energy happening quickly for you. You could have Aries in your chart or some fire in your chart in your big three, sun, moon, rising. Um, this is about life purpose also, you know, stepping into your life purpose, understanding why you're here and really running with this, like pro propelling it, like going fast because the queen of wands is about getting a lot done in a short amount of time, having your head on a swivel, um, putting yourself out there, being charismatic, outgoing, personable, um, it's about luck. It's about, you know, um, your ambition or being ambitious. What else is that? What else? So this is definitely about something you need to do. I feel like it's career. I don't know. The universe may be calling you to teach or uh, learn or go back to school or do something. Um, maybe in terms of, you know, like a humanitarian effort. It could be with animals. We got a horse here. It could be with um, spirituality. But whatever this is, you need to activate because you don't let the energy lie dormant because then it'll die. It'll die out. A fire, if you don't feed the fire, it will die. So it's about take that fire, that zest, that exhilarating feeling and do something with it because that's how you change your life that's how you change um your surrounding that's how you change your environment that's how you have change in your life it's actually taking that energy and doing something with it don't let the fire just die fan the flame here be courageous what is this about for aquarius how do you get out of five of pentacles energy how do you um, come to a place of uh, having more than enough, being abundant. This might even be like some of you are self-employed, but this is like uncertain self-employment. Like you're not certain that it can sustain you. Like you won't be able to sustain your life. Um, you won't be able to, you know, um, make money that will keep you at the place you want to be at. But it says, you need to activate. You need to do something. Yeah, the King of Swords. Maybe even... Go to an advisor, an expert. You get another card of expertise. The King of Swords is the king closest to divinity, spirituality. He's the king of air, king of... Um, the air, the divinity, the he wears the purple cloak or the purple robe. He's like royalty. Five of Wands. So that with these two fives here, you could be seeing fifty-five. You could be seeing five, five, five. 
It's telling you to activate. It's telling you right now you're in a temporary space of not having enough. But if you do something else, if you bring something else into fruition, you can mitigate those circumstances. You can move through it. You can get out of it. But it's all about what you do, how you do it. The universe is here telling you to do something with the judgment card. Call judgment. Make a decision. Stop, you know, straddling the fence. The five of wands, it says get active. Again, like energy of Mars, ego, competition. Throw your hat in the ring. Be up for the competition. Be fired up. Some of you, this is like sexual ar aroused, like being aroused sexually. Some of you have been in a drought <laughs> sexually for a while. You know, maybe, and it could be by your own doing. Like you're not having sex, okay? Um pious um piety like you you you're choosing this okay you're choosing to be set apart um what is this about for aquarius it looks like you've got a lot of downloads you've got a lot of spiritual up leveling by being set apart but it's like now you need to do something can we talk about what aquarius needs to do it's like you need to king of wands wow so you get two kings here king queen of wands with the king of swords you may have dealt with somebody who was like macho man um ego egotistical i mean like a breaking of the ego either for you aquarius or for another party here breaking the ego to come back to you some relationship was karmic it was a lesson to be learned for you aquarius and the other person a relationship can't be karmic where one person is karmic and the other one is an angel. It don't work like that. Both y'all have y'all lesson to learn. Though the, though the lesson is different, you know. Uh, the king of wands. You have the queen and the king of wands. Something about fiery, passionate. Somebody may even be trying to get your attention. Get a second chance with you. Could be a Scorpio. Could be somebody that you are married to. Or in some type of commitment with. Um, because... Uh, yeah, we got Capricorn, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, man, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, man. Um, what, okay, so we got everybody here. What it's saying is that maybe some relationship may be getting ready to start back up. Somebody is trying to get the relationship out of a place of despondency, out of a place of um, lack, lack of communication, lack of action, lack of confidence. Like somebody wants to, they're, they're coming back to you confident that they can be what you need them to be. Yeah, a strength card. Maybe even asking for your forgiveness. The eighth house. Yeah, that's a Scorpio. Um, the strength card could be a Leo. We got a lot of fire. So somebody's coming back with a lot of fire, a lot of passion. This is also saying it's time for you with the strength card coming to step out there on faith. You can do it. This is the time to start up, start something up, whether it's in business, start a new career, start something. But it's, it's time for you to activate Aquarius. And somebody else is being activated towards you also. The strength card... It says that there could have been a holding back. You're holding back sexually. Sex drive is coming up. You're holding back sexually. This person is holding back from you. There's an energy of mystery, not knowing if, the, if I'll be accepted or rejected, whether it's you, Aquarius, or the other person. There's an energy of um, her synergy. Okay. All right. So that could be significant for somebody. Okay. So there's an energy of... Um, You both are estranged from one another, yet you're estranged from one another. Somebody could want to come back and date. you take you out to the show, to the movies, to the concert. Somebody really wants to maybe date you, court you in the correct way. Um, somebody wants to put on the performance, maybe. They feel like maybe they didn't give you enough time, enough energy. The strength card coming out. They definitely need your forgiveness. Or, or it's, it's vice versa. Or it's mutual forgiveness here. Um, there's mystery surrounding the other person's finances also. Somebody could be coming back trying to figure out how much money you have. 
you they feel like maybe there's a mystery they want to know that you could be trying to figure out how much money they have you have the lovers so we got gemini coming out okay you got a gemini woman here um somebody okay somebody could be choosing the soulmate twin flame yeah four of swords someone could be choosing the soulmate twin flame connection now somebody let someone that someone else or something else come in between the two of you and now they want forgiveness they want you to deal with them compassionately the strength card is directly related to the star card so it's about renewal coming back together releasing baggage from old relationships chakra healing alignment being the face of beauty fashion it's about sex also four of swords it's like maybe you and somebody took a break somebody feels like this was always going to be temporary always going to be temporary we were always going to come back together with the four of swords um the relationship is kind of testy you know it's like we gotta you know uh, tread lightly with with this because it could fall apart it's like make it or break it time somebody knows that like if they come back they're gonna come back right what is going on here? That healed. Okay, so somebody could be coming back healed. What's happening for Aquarius? There might be an offer that comes into you, Aquarius, whether it is monetary and career focus or love focus, but it brings some healing. Um, it, it allows for you to prepare for the future. The Nine of Swords coming out. So we got Gemini again. Somebody wants to communicate. Because they feel like if they let it off their chest, if they communicate to you how they feel or what's going on with them, maybe um, this energy of the Nine of Swords, Dark Knight of the Soul, emotions and thoughts attacking them, them overthinking things, um, they feel like that will subside. If I could just talk to the Aquarius, or this is how you feel, Aquarius, if I could just talk to somebody who does not want to be estranged anymore, they want to be together, or at least the opportunity to talk to you see you on a daily basis there could even be somebody wanting to travel towards you there's somebody want to do the right thing with you here i don't see the justice card but maybe it's coming out um uh, the nine of swords here so this person could be under the my so that like they went into introspection they also could have i don't know there could be a change in their personality or transition something that's transition so it's like they went from one place to the next in their personality, in their own par like personal philosophy about relationships, love, life, whatever. So maybe this was a person who didn't want to grow up. They went through something and now they transition into, okay, I need to be more responsible. I need to be more honest. I need to be more forthcoming. This was a person who never wanted to marry or be in a committed relationship. Now they went through something. They were, you know, met with something um, and now they're at a place where, okay, I could do this. I could be in a relationship. I see differently. I understand what relationships are with the lovers coming out. So it's like a transition of somebody's personality here, whether it's you, Aquarius, or the other person. So they're like, you go through something and then your, your, your philosophy, the beauty of philosophy is you get to make up whatever you want. Your philosophy is yours and mine is mine. So somebody's philosophy about life love relationships maybe even money whatever responsibility has shifted maybe it's shifted for the good for the better i'm hoping i hope it shifted for the worse and then they coming back uh-uh i rebuke uh let's see what's happening for the two of swords um so yeah so what's coming what's happening right now is that somebody's in a place of um should i should I not? They're like going back and forth in their mind. If they should come towards you, if they should make an offer, if you'll accept, if you will respond, if there will be reunion or reconciliation or the both. Keep in mind, reunion and reconciliation are two different things. All right. I think you've been watching long enough to know that they are. Um. Anyway, um, the two of swords. Um. Somebody said, that. okay, I don't know. All right, so reunion. So think of when you have a class reunion, when you have a family reunion. So it's going to be a group of people that come back together. They're going to have activities together. They're going to maybe rehash the past, all the good things about the past. And they're gonna, it's, you know, celebration. It's celebratory. It's fun. You know, it's not a downer most times for reunion. Now, reconciliation is when you come 
to gather and you confess your shortcomings to one another. So I heard pitfalls or um, what you didn't do or what you did do. Um, so it is a coming together and you're going to have heavy talks. You're going to, there could be tears. There could be a lashing out. Reconciliation is going over the account of what the fuck happened, who the fuck did, why did they do, and how are we going to fix it? So you can either have reconciliation or reunion, whichever one. But like, you know, at a family reunion, you, you have a fun, you're getting together, you're eating together. It's, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a jovial, joyous time. You're not going to talk about how, you know, uncle so-and-so, you know, used to touch all the little children. You know, you're just not going to talk about it. That wouldn't be for a great reunion. You're not going to go over the accounts of the family, right? You're not going to talk about how, you know, um, auntie blah, blah, blah. She is a kleptomaniac. You're not going to talk about that. You know, you're going to have fun. So you can have reconciliation or you can have reunion. Two of Swords talks about, um, it talks about uh, the power struggle. So this person is at a place of like, they're trying to, you know, think, is, is it going to be a power struggle? Is it going to be an argument? What do I need to concede to? What do I need to give in to? How can I compromise? How can we have cooperation? They're hoping and praying that you're in that energy too. It don't work if it's just one person, right? Um, again, you got a lot of energy of just leave it alone and then come back to it. So somebody's not making a decision about coming towards you right at this very moment, but it's heavily on their mind. They could want reconciliation with you because four of swords, two of swords talks about six of swords. The two of swords also talks about somebody is like going over in their mind. Could be you Aquarius or the other person or both. Like, should I have cut off that loved one? Yep. You got a lot of swords. When you got more than, more than enough swords on the table, <laughs> Um, yep. Somebody is in the in deliberation about, should I have cut off that loved one? Loved one could be romantic, platonic, business, whoever you love, right? So somebody is like, should I have cut them out? Should I have done them wrong? You know, so somebody's going, you know, the gamut, running the gamut in their mind. Just, you know, just like a continuous cycle of just over and like, you know, thinking about things too. Yeah. Um, Someone could see you as the one, the empress at the bottom of the deck. They're hoping that you're open to creation or to create with them, okay? It's 222. Two, two. I am ready to receive. Put your right hand out. Tell the universe. I am ready to receive. All right. Um, the empress. Past, present, and future. So um, with the empress here. So it's about abundance and being open to. So they're, they're hoping that maybe it's opportunity to create, co-create with one another. They may be seeing you as the empress also. I heard the pretty, pretty princess. The pampered princess. The This is somebody who's made something out of nothing, you know. Uh, the Empress has her throne in the middle of wilderness. The other queens, they sit on the throne that was, you know, appointed for them. They married a king. They were chosen by a king, right? The Empress, it's just, um, it's a being. You've created this space, this being for yourself. You've got, like, starlight quality about you or... There's talent about you or something that you do. There's beauty. There's talent. There's creation. There's openness. There's love. There's devotion. You could be a singer, actress. There's something about you, you know, start like quality. All right, let's see. Uh, even if you're not on any public platform or stage, people look at you like the emperors. Like you created something or you're creative or you can take something and turn it into, you know. All right, and it then also is saying like um, some of you are like toiling over money and going back and forth over like a money issue, money issues. Thinking about will you get it? Will it come? How will it come? It says you got to be in the empress energy, the flow. 
So how, what does that mean? You know, there's some, so what is, that means, um, all right, so to be in the flow of anything, you got to be open, right? So think about, now I might be getting this wrong, and I'm sure somebody's going to let me know um, how it goes down in the comment section. But the the lakes flow into the river, and the river flows into the ocean. I, I could be, like, it could be all wrong, right? But the flow, right? So we've got one body of water flowing into the next. If the river is dammed or closed up, the lake can't flow, right? So when we talk about flow, you got to be open to, and then also talk about flow. The lake flows into the river, flows into the river, flows into the ocean. All of these body of, bodies of water are expecting the flow, the tide to increase, right? I could be wrong. I'd be using all the wrong terminology. I'm pretty sure somebody out there is going to let me know. But, but you're getting what I'm saying. You have to be open and you have to be expected. So in order for increase to come to you, you have to be open and expecting. So I put your right hand out. Okay. Um, I'm ready to receive, you know. You've done the work so for some of you. And if you have not, you need to get busy doing the work. Prove to yourself in the universe that you are worthy of it, that you need it, that you want it uh, more than ever, that you understand universal law. Okay, and you got to do the work because work gives you power. Go look up the definition, well, the equation for work, you know, and then look up the equation for power. You see, you can't have one without the other. So you got to do the work so that you can have power. It says that you're in a very powerful place right now. You need to use your power. Think of that. The vision I was telling you about, there's like a, a the mermaid under the water, like just like the, all this power, but she's under the water. Everybody else is on top of the water in the boats, you know, just having a good time. Maybe you in your life right now, you feel like everybody else around you or, or you look here, you look there. Everybody's having a good time, you know, eat, drink, be merry. And you're just kind of under the water. Or you're underwater. Or you've got a lot on your plate. It, You know, you just kind of feel like you're, you're pushing. You're, you know, you're pushing the tide. Um, there's something about activation, too. Like, you got to activate. I don't know. I'm getting like some of you can have what other people have. But it's like you got to know how to go about it. You gotta know how to use your power, yield your power, because she had like a lot of power underwater. Underwater. The water, you're weightless. Underwater, though. And everybody's on top of the water. So maybe you feel like you're under something, or you just under, or you're getting under, underpaid, under, you know, underachieving, or under something. But it's saying you got a lot of power. You're in a power position. It's like you won't yield it. Because you got like, in the beginning, all these cards have taken action. Hmm. Clearing. Real deep. Real deep. Um, the last two cards for Aquarius. Yep. Four of Wands. So, something's coming full circle for you. And it's going to be successful. A successful completion of this project that is you. It's like you're coming home. Now, this talks about reunion. They talk about celebration. Uh, well, of course, we're going into, especially if you're in the United States, we're going into holiday season. Okay? So, there could be going home, coming back home, reunion, um, wanting to take loved ones out, uh, successful completion of something also, the close of it, uh, landing a big contract, Getting a large sum of money, redecorating, remodeling, redoing. This is also Aries energy. You had Aries come out. 
he's blowing a trumpet. So there's celebration. There's victory or blowing some type of horn. Maybe around Aries season. Let's see. What else? Last two cards for Aquarius. Woo. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. But I, it, it like came out all crazy. So I'm going to put it back. Let's see. What is going on for the Aquarius? So it's saying basically if you activate, if you take action, if you do this, if you step out on faith, if you are courageous, if you just, you know, know that you can do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, move, 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 institute, take action. Look where it gets you, the, the Empress of Four Wands. Some of you don't let the fire die. You don't feed the fire, it dies. And then you got to start from scratch where you got to make another fire. All right, let's see. What do we have for Aquarius? Six of Cups. So maybe the use of your gifts. God giving gifts. Being blissfully unaware. Happy place. A happy time. Marriage. Babies. Um, reunion again. Going backwards. Connecting backwards. Family. Friends. Maybe a, a relationship. Um, a significant one. Maybe one from childhood or early adulthood. Uh, the Six of Cups also talks about um yeah connecting backwards roots going back to your roots um it also talks about you know simpler times decluttering your emotions so maybe you're going to do this with family with friends with a loved one simpler times just say i love you this could be with a feminine energy could be with mom home home is coming up home children roots roots again mom here with the empress so maybe you got to like do some clearing so that you can activate and so that you can manifest with maybe mother energy. And then you have father over here, maybe with um, someone who you were in a relationship with. Whoa, can't make it up. Wow, the fourth house came out with the roots. Can't make it up. So it's like um, maybe you got to go back to your roots. Whom, whomever you had a child with at an early age or if you had issues with mom. You gotta go back and make it right or have conversation tough con we just talked that's funny because some of you wanted to know about what reconciliation is and what reunion is so maybe you're gonna have to have that tough conversation yep whoa with Aquarius is saying you the innovator so maybe you're gonna have to be diplomatic and bring everybody together rational and you know utopian yeah, you're going to be kind of like, you want peace, therefore you're going to be the peacemaker. Okay? Even though this is a complex situation, that you, uh, some complex waters that you're going to have to navigate. Even though it irritates you, it mystifies you at times, it maybe even complicates things as to why someone did something to you. Why they would do. You could have to have a conversation with a feminine energy about your upbringing or something being held from you. You did have the Ten of Pentacles. So it could be a family member or family or the entire family. The opportunity will present itself for you. Even if you feel like you're on the majority, excuse me, you're on the minority end of this argument or the this conversation, right? It says, don't back down. Stand up for yourself. The Seven of Wands, be proactive also in getting ahead of something. Take action. It's like something or somebody's really trying to get your attention in terms of maybe a love affair. You've got to go back and confront something in terms of your upbringing, childhood trauma or drama or family dynamic or with mother or with someone that you had a child with. So you're going to have to go back, confront that, deal with it, bury it. Then you can move forward. It's like some, if you really look at all of this and you listen to some of these readings, if you take a step back and you are the king of wands and you look at the bigger picture and the larger scope of all of this, you'll see it's like this this life that we're living is like a game almost or stair stepping or levels. And you can't go to this level unless you go and do that. And then when you go and do that, you, then you got this thing and then you can go to this level. But at this level, you got to learn this. So you get a trans. So it's like what they say, you, you're forever learning and you're forever evolving, hopefully. And um, you never really heal. 
you know, I guess until you until death. I don't know. You know, I ain't, I ain't got all the answers. I ain't sorry. Um, <laughs> but, I, but uh, you know, it's like you got to do something, Aquarius, so that you can have what it is you say you want to get a different result. Can't do the same thing and then expect a different result, right? This could be the releasing of somebody wants you to come back home or come back to them could be a mom could be the seven of wands don't back down if you know that you know that you know that it is what it is but but at the same time go into every situation every conversation with diplomacy wanting peace you know you didn't come ready to fight right you're you're ready to make peace that is the aquarius here let's leave you with some i love these cards even though they are they might be old as dirt. They might be older than some of y'all's children. Um, let's see. What is happening for the Aquarius? What is happening for the Aquarius? So it's like the universe is like, do something, Aquarius. Do something. Do it now. Do it now. Close, close it out so we can bring you this thing. So we can help you get to the next level. New levels, new devils, right? Just something else to conquer. Don't look at it as a bad thing. Look at it as I'm, I'm conquering. I'm slaying the demons in my life. All right, let's see. Volunteer. Yeah, so it's like you got to have a conversation. Voluntary conversation about the past or what happened or volunteer. It could be in... It's funny, this card talks about the volunteer state if you're in the United States. So Tennessee could be significant for you. Somebody could be from Tennessee um, or they have roots in Tennessee or family dynamic. I don't know. Um, this is also talking about sitting and volunteering information. It shouldn't have to be pulled from you. Um, also volunteer yourself, you know, to push forward, to start something. If you don't know how to do it, um, or you want to learn how to do something, maybe volunteer your time, your service. That's the best way to learn. Uh, could even talk about apprenticeship or internship, externship, something of that nature. Um, it could also talk about benevolence. You need to take some time to give back. You know, you need to take some time to do a charitable act. Yeah, welcome the new. I can't make it up. So it's like you got to do something here to help welcome the new. So newness is coming to you, but you got to be open to it. Like like the lake, the river, the ocean, right? You got to let it flow, but you have to have flow. Something is stopping the flow. The blo It's blockage here. and There's a dam built up. Maybe surrounding people, place, thing that hurt you. When things hurt us. We, we tend to stay away from it or we don't want to deal with it or we've made up our mind, made up in our minds that it's not for us, right? So if there is some person that hurt you, then you may start to say, I'm not going to deal with that type of person or that type of energy because it hurts or it will hurt me. Um... And then you close off, you block off yourself, you dam yourself up. So then nothing flows. Nothing flows out of you, nothing flows in. You may say you're ready for love, but if you have the blockage there, you're not. And it, it's an invisible thing, you know, especially when you, you, come, you become so anesthetized or so comfortable with carrying this big ass weight on your shoulder, this chip on your shoulder, this hurt, this pain. When it's the only thing that you can talk about when you think of that person. Um, there's blockage there. The universe is like, I, we, we can't take you to the next level until you deal. What else is happening for the Aquarius? I know some people, so it's like, if this is a game, there's got to be a cheat code. Yep, it is. Straight to hell. Go on, I mean, go visit the devil. Yeah, he'll give you a cheat code. You'll get what you think you want. You know? Um, you definitely won't get what you need. Alright, so... Um, 
stay toxic. You know, I know that's a, a, a running theme, a hashtag. I knew this was coming out. Adult children. Some of you got to go back to the parent retirement. You got to retire something. Let it go. It's like the universe is like, when you deal with this, we have the conversation. When you make the apology or they make the apology to you or it's mutual, then boom, the floodgates open up for you. Some of these people did things that are legitimately heinous. Like they should be flogged somewhere, you know. They should um they should suffer. But you don't know if they already are. Mmm. Ain't that ain't that a question? Mmm. You don't know if they already suffer. It may look like on the surface. Oh, that's what we were getting. On the surface, the people were partying. And you were down at the bottom in all of that, that deep sea of emotions. And you had all that power. It's like you got to activate. You got to say. You got to speak your truth. You got to have the conversation so you can move forward. You got to do this thing. Because once you do it, your life changes in a major way quickly. You got to retire this chip on your shoulder. It may look like these other people have gotten away with what they did to you or they're getting away with it. But you don't know if they're in their own little personal hell. What if those people and those yachts and those boats had to party like that forever for an eternity? They can't do nothing but party on the boat for eternity. Mm. It, it looks like to everybody else. That they're having a good time. But if you will go up to one of them and say, shit, we've been partying on this boat for a hundred years. Let us off. They're in their own, somebody's in their own little personal hell. And you think that they're getting away with what they did to you. This is deep. Some of you Aquarius, you may have already clicked off a long time ago. But some of you, this is real deep. This is deep, man. Somebody's in their own little personal hell. And you don't even know it. You think that they are just living life, the high life. The high. They are going through hell in their emotions, in their mind. They want to apologize. They want to make it right. They want to make amends. They're sorry. They ain't big enough to say it. But the universe is saying that, you you know, maybe you have to go to them and initiate. Yeah, adjudication can't make it up. They want you to hear them out. They're hoping that you're open to hearing them out. Even if it's a sack of lies. I think that's why the cards were saying, go into it with diplomacy, Aquarius. Go into it with the mindset of, after I have this conversation, after I do this thing, then I go to the next level. I get clarity. I move forward. Don't even go into it with the expectation of, okay, they better apologize for this, and they better agree to this, and they better admit that, and if they don't, you don't. go into it with your own intention for your own self. When you go into anything with no expectations, you most times you get everything that you're looking for. Because you weren't looking for anything. Message. All right, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's see. Oh. They want you to be soft. Somebody wants you to come back. They they so hurt. Oh my gosh, I'm about to start crying. Somebody's hurt. This is a family member. Somebody's hurt. Somebody's hurt. They they hold them back to tears. They hold them back to hurt. It could be a, a, a you know I know everybody's here for love. Somebody's hurt. Somebody's got you in court. Somebody's bringing you to court. And they're in that lying. They're lying. Family room. It is a family member. I told you, or someone who that you treated like family. You're going to get some secrets are told to you. Something is exposed. I don't know. You get like clarity. 
exposure, clarity, community, about a, a big ass group of people, so the entire family. Or what somebody was doing in group, in tandem. This is all three. Wow. What's that? Yeah. That's 12 equals three. That's 21. Three. And then we got adjudication. Sorry. Three. 30. 21. 39. Reduce this to 12. Three. Three, three, three. You may be seeing that number. Somebody really wants to communicate with you. Really wants to have reconciliation. Really wants to um, have some type of reunion with you. They want you to come back. What else do we have for Aquarius? It could be a main male. It could be a father. It could be um, somebody who's single now by themselves. You think that Aquarius, you think these people, whether it be family, love, it could be all of the damn people, you know. Everybody that you chose to, you know, have affiliation with or association with, whether it be family or friends or maybe some romantic partner, business partner, blah, blah, blah. Um, you think these people are on the yachts above you partying. But they're in their own little personal hell. Ooh, because you took yourself out of the equation. Oh, that's what they said. The equation, the equation of work and power. All right, let's see. Oh, I can't make it up. Thief, lying. They, somebody could have stole something from you. Maybe even get some, you know, acknowledgement, um, a secret that something was taken from you. You may even get some type of closure that somebody really. Theft happens in so many different ways, okay? And sometimes this card comes up when somebody is deceiving themselves or trying to deceive other people by their actions, by way of their actions. It could be a masculine energy, okay? Um, they want to journey to you. They want to come back to you. They could be coming to you under false pretense or they're not letting you know their plan. It could be a Scorpio. It could be anybody. Um... Be cautious of this person. They definitely want to come towards you. They definitely want to travel towards you or see you. Yeah, good news message. In seven days, seven hours. I'll go as far as to say seven weeks, but this talks about seven days. You know, as short as seven hours. Just somebody from your past. They want to come back to you. The family wants to re reveal secrets. Or somebody wants to, you know, tell you what was really going on. And a uh, main male here wants to come towards you. They're thinking about all the good times. They could be sending you a message. As little as seven hours, seven days, something like that. expectation that's the energy you need to be in abundance expectation um expecting you're like the lake rivers ocean you're expecting flow you're expecting money wake up in the morning and say that even if you're not even if you don't know where it's coming from just wake up i'm expecting money today I'll go into that another day. <sighs> so you got to understand everything is energy, right? So think about how you wake up every morning, you hit the alarm clock, you get up, you put your clothes on, you get dressed, you go to work, or you log into work or whatever. You do the same thing every day, right? For, mo for the most part, for some of us. And um, think about if you do something every day, you know, over and over again, wash, rinse, and repeat. You do something like that every single day. It's gaining momentum or power, right? Work, power. So you're, you're going to work every day. You're get, it's gaining power. Power is um, force, you know, over a certain amount of time. Well, that's work. Um, power is the work that you do um, divided by time, I believe. Um, 
that's how much power you've been, you've been, you're putting out, or that's how much power you have because you've been doing this work for, um, you know, a certain amount of years, months. Okay. And you've gained some type of, uh, superiority or notoriety or whatever you're doing, but you got to do it over and over again so that you can get the power. You can't do it once, twice, um, do it once, skip two weeks, then do it. You don't have any power. You're not working or it's not working, right? So if, if you're consistent with getting up and going to work, whatever you do, think about if you were consistent with affirming what you want for yourself each and every day. Because you're getting up and you're doing it every day. You say, I'm expecting money. I'm in the flow of money. I'm in the flow of love. I'm expecting new love. Think about if you did that every single day. It's gaining momentum. It's gaining power, right? So you're eventually going to be met with that money or that love. Just keep at it. Everything is energy. Synergy. That's just one way to manifest. You know, but it is, I mean, there's so many different ways, but um, just do what you need to do. And then also... So it's, it's marrying the practical with the spiritual. Practically, you're getting your ass up, you're getting dressed, you're going to work. Spiritually, you're affirming to the universe what you want every single day. Every single day. You'll start to see that you're in the flow of it. Think doors are opening up. Whatever your affirmations are. I'm in good health. You, you're scrolling on your phone, on TikTok or whatever. And that very thing that you're looking for um, in terms of your health or to be in better vitality, you find, okay, I'm getting all these health uh, uh, posts and videos, okay? So you'll find that the energy finds you because you're in the flow of it and you've been affirming it to the universe. Also, do what you can do to have better health too. Don't just, I'm in the flow of better health. I'm going to have better health. And then you drive straight to McDonald's and you, you get two... Um, Sausage McMuffins. I don't even know what they sell. All that stuff, you know, and, and you do that every single day. Like, come on. Help the universe help you. All right? Um, yeah, but they want you to be in the flow of expectation. In seven days, something's coming to you. It could be life-changing, life-altering. You may even have to take a trip for it. There could be somebody wanting to come towards you. Some of you just need to... You really need to, you know, and I've never said this, but you really need to sign up for the KTMG Keep the Momentum Going monthly conference call. These people are getting phenomenal information on how to change your life, especially if you want to be a business owner, if you have a business and you want it to transition. $20 a month, $20 a month gets you, you know, um, some really life changing, altering information, know how. Take home. I mean, come on, y'all. Anyway. Expectation. The death, and that's the death card. Could be death card, Scorpio. Coffin. Imprisonment. Wow, I can't make this up. And unexpected money or income. Some of these people that put themselves in this hell, this grip, this grave, this that they dug for your for you, they're in it. Ooh, recompense coming to you. They feel like maybe they need to even, you know, apologize, repay you, give you some money so that they can get out of this hell. Somebody's on their deathbed, somebody's about to die. They don't want to die in their sin or having transgressed against you. You're about to be in high honor. You're about to be honored publicly. Recognized. For some high quality work that you put out. You've been put out. You've been done. You've been SAG award. I don't know. Um, some awards here. Let's leave them with these cards. And we're done. Because we're like at an hour. I don't know. This is a deep dive for 
so I'm Aquarius. Some of you, you know, you're just not there yet, but you will be. You know, my prayers for you to get there. Um, then some of you, you hear, you understand it. Let's see. Everybody's on a different timeline. You know, there might be some young 22, 23, 25 year old. Uh, Aquarius listening to this. Imagine yourself at 22, 23, 25. You know. Where were you? Were you deep in your spirituality? No, probably you were deep in toxicity, like we all were, you know, but yeah, so open, close. You need to be open and closed off to all the bullshit. The Queen of Cups is practicing emotional stability. So she's not tied to situations, people, places, things that will weigh her down. She's an empath. So she understands energy. She understands emotions. And she understands detachment so that there can be... Um, she understands that she needs to be detached enough so that she can be stable. If you take on everybody's energy, everybody's emotions, you're going to destabilize yourself. You're going to be fucking crazy. So it's like... She's, this is a good listener. This is somebody who um, knows that they have a gift. They're giving something to the world. She gives good advice because she's not attached to the outcome. Like, you take the advice or you don't. I'm going to sleep at night peacefully. You know? That's the Queen of Cups. So this is diplomacy also. This is fixed. Water, Scorpio. Yeah, a lot of Scorpio. Scorpio, that deep dive into the emotions. You're, you're under the water. And you've got all that power. You're moving the water. You're even moving the boats. With the people partying above. Wow, Aquarius. You the plug. You the key to all of this. People know that. Yep, page of cups. Developing your uh, clairvoyance. This is also like, you know, emotional maturity. You know, trying to come into emotional maturity. This is good news coming to you in regards to business matters. Whatever business you got going on, you waiting for this or you waiting for that or waiting for an approval. Yes, blah, 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 whatever. Good news. You could be in beauty and fashion. You could just be beautiful. People look at you as youthful and beautiful. Let's see. What's going on for the Aquarius? The big payback. Pay to the order of Aquarius. It's coming back, baby. So that means the the big payback. Pay back. So you're going to get back pay for all that you've endured. Recompense. Something is yours. It was taken away from you. Or you were taken away from it. One more card. Somebody been lying, keeping something from you, bullshitting you, seeing you struggle, wanting you to be on a struggle bus, and then you think that they partying up top. They really in their own personal hell. Something's eating away at this person. What they did to you. Let's see. What they took from you. Queen of Swords. Um, you like Virgo. Virgo woman, uh, Libra, you can get Aquarius, yeah, you know, it really depends on where you are, you about to be a rich bitch though, that's what's on these cards, Queen of Swords, rich in all ways though, R rich in clarity, rich in life lesson, Something pushed you into spirituality. All of the hurt, the pain, the life lesson pushed you into a higher calling. Just keep in mind the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, I think is, they're both here now. Um, they're closest to divinity. Something pushed you into, you know, you could have been crying, rolling on the floor, 
about some man or about some woman or about how your family did you or your friends did you and you just you just couldn't take it and it was just like I gotta find out why it means so much why am I so hurt why am I deeply hurt the queen of swords so you went in um Maybe you started to study about yourself. Maybe you found the Tarot. Maybe now you're you're deep in the rabbit hole. You found everything else that came with it. You cut off some people till you cut out some things that just wasn't serving you or it's asking you to do that. Value. It's got to have value. Or it can't go with you. You and somebody else are are estranged. It's a very mental, cerebral type of connection. It's also very passionate because you're the king and queen of wands. So you guys get each other mentally. Um, and then you got that that mental stimulation feeds into that passion, that drive, that zest, the sexual nature for life. Looks like the Queen of Cups here. I think you had the King of Cups come out somewhere. I don't know. So you get the Knight of Cups at the bottom of this deck. Somebody really wants I think we had it back here somewhere. I don't know. Somebody wants you to come back. They love you. They want to give you a message. They want you to fall in love with them again. You may get some creative. You may be into hair. You do hair. Hair is coming up big here on these cards. Somebody could want you to come back. Want you to fall in love with them. They could be bald. Either they have hair. They have a lot or they have none. Somebody can wear wigs, weaves, or this is what they do. They transform. Um... They're into beauty, fashion, all of that stuff. They could have their own shop, shopkeeper, salon keeper. Um, something, the salon, it could even be nails, cosmetology all together, right? Your name, their name could start with any of these letters. A, T, C, K, W, R, E. About to come into royalty, purple, um, divinity. Healing, friendship, soul tribe, real friends, people who love you, like you. You're coming out of suffering. It's in reverse. Somebody dug that, that coffin there. We saw that in the Kipper deck. Somebody wanted you underground. Wow. And we had that vision of you being underwater. Somebody wanted you under. But no, bitch. It ain't gonna happen like that. Aquarius is coming out. I'm, I'm getting like really excited. So some of you are like, something is really happening for you. Real time. You're coming out of suffering. You suffered enough. Your birthday or somebody's birthday could be around these years or distinct years or it could be one of these 1969 1970 1971 1980 coffee cup you about to meet somebody oh this is that meeting that conversing about with just had the meeting Aquarius savoring the moment you're feeling uplifted you could even be having new friendship coming about to meet new friends or having that conversation that you need to have so you can move to the next level right somewhere else mask not showing true feelings hiding personifying gaslighting pretending there is with that theft with that theft card Somebody was coming in with that mask on, maybe trying to act like something changed. The runner. This used to be somebody who was running for responsibility, running from the relationship, running. The runner. 
They were listening to their ego. They feared intimacy. And you put a, br a break to that shit. You broke up with them. Uh, you stopped the pattern and you went into silent treatment. And this person can't take it. What else do we have for Aquarius? Clock. Something needs time, cycles, time to heal, progress. Yeah. So if you want this person back, they need to they need to really heal. Don't rush it. Don't rush your ascension process also. Love, unconditional love. It's coming your way. Self-love, affection, and attraction. The sword and a rose, clarity, truth, re revelation. We talked about that power. We talked about power, protection. You know the truth, Aquarius, and that's what gives you the power here. You know the truth. Somebody was lying. Somebody's got. They come with lies, falsehood. Maybe that's why they ran from you so many, so many times. So they run from the conversation. Um, they got lies. They got lies. You know, if you start telling the truth about some of these people that have been telling lies about you, the truth always trumps the lie. And the fact of the matter is you don't even have to tell a lie about them. You got you to gotta come with the truth. They have to tell lies about you. Or it could be the other way around. Maybe Aquarius is lying. I don't know. One more. The golden mirror. Yeah, somebody's a narcissistic, self-absorbed, love bombing. It's a one-sided relationship. I'm getting like mother also. Somebody loves to sing the praises in your face and sweet nothings, especially around a group or a crowd. Um, but that's not what, what they really mean or that's not how they really feel about you. It's lies, manipulation. Wow, can't make this up. Whomever this is interested in talking to you, conversing more. They're awaiting your message. This might be the person who feels like they wanted to cry. Awaiting your text or call your email. They're hovering. They can't believe that you cut them out or cut them off like this. You're just tired of like some one-sided situation. Somebody always being able to depend on you. You can't depend on them. They can come to you, but you can't come to them. They don't have what you need, but you always got what they need. They want something from you. You got it. You want something from them. Mm. Or it, you know, it, it's breaking news. You need something from them or you want something from them. It's breaking news now. Everybody knows about it. But when they come to you, it's just, you know, it, it's nothing. It's quiet. It's here you are. You know, you didn't tell anybody. Somebody could want to marry you. You're already married. They don't want to do right. Wedding rings. Union marriage. You might be getting ready for um, a connection, a wedding, a marriage. The universe is trying to get you ready for it. That's why they're trying to have you close one door so that the other one can open. Somebody's definitely interested in talking to you. Hovering. They just wish. Yeah, keys on a ring. Somebody kept you as such. Strung you along. They had many options. They know they had a decision to make, but they were, it was just like they would rather rest in unconventionality, whatever. They'd rather be in some unconventional relationship, not choose you, not decide on you. Now they want to fall in love with you, or they're in love with you. They want you to fall in love with them. They about to show all of their hand. They about to show all of their cards and take a risk. They're going to take a gamble because they like passion is stirring up in their soul for you. Cards want you to be lighthearted. Let your heart be as light as a feather. Like don't be carrying all of this stuff. Yeah, these people did you wrong or this person did you wrong or that person did you wrong or those friends did you wrong or that job did you wrong and the cat did you wrong or the dog did you wrong and the goldfish died and the... We all got a story, but, you know, how do we release it? I was supposed to be done wrong because I, if I didn't do wrong, then I wouldn't have found this and I wouldn't have found that and I wouldn't be here, right? Gotta, so you got to turn it around. 
so for your own sanity. No one else's. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I'm going to leave it there. This got way too long. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. It got dark in here, too. Um, but I'm hoping that you can still see somewhat. Anyway. Um, many blessings to you, Aquarius. If you want to get your own personal reading, we can drill down on your energy. What you need to be focused on. Go over to the website. I think I'm going to do a special today. I think... Um, Okay, I'm I'm happy. I'm you know I'm happy. I'm happy every day. But I don't know some of you get ready, get ready, cause um it's like happiness, happy, 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 um, joy, 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 joy. Like just deep down in your soul. Okay, um, I'm gonna do. I will link it below in the comment section. The ten minute readings over the phone or Zoom. I think are $50. I'll make them today, Friday. I'll make it $25. So that should that's feasible for everyone. 10 minutes. And I'm always, you know, like going over. I'm not gonna go over, 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 but I'm always going over. I you know, you know, it is what it is. God is good and still on the throne. So boom. Um 10 minutes on the phone with me or Zoom. For $25. Uh, if you want to drill down on some things in your life. Um, no recorded reading. So I, I can't commit to that. Because I have a life. Um, so phone. Zoom. That's what I got Aquarius. Many blessings to you.